GCC textbook is boring, right? Do you believe it's too voluminous containing a lot of information? Even if you read it one million times, you might still not be able to answer a GCSE questions correctly. We have a solution for you. We have created all in one GCSE summary slides for each chapter. It covers the whole curriculum. We present it in a concise manner all you need to be an A star student. The slide is well prepared by an ICT Cambridge examiner. After each topic, we provide a GCSE related questions with answers. Download now. Hi, you're welcome back to my channel, ICT Made Easy. Today I will continue where I stopped in the last video. And um, we are still on this paper, October, November 2021. Then um, today we will continue from this, which is database. The question says you are now going to prepare some reports based on the assessment results. Now, dates are to be important in the format of day, month, and year. So pay attention to this. Now, using a suitable database package, import the file, this one. The software we're going to use is Microsoft Access. If you don't have it, you need to download it. Then uh, Microsoft Access. Now you click on external data, then new data source from file, then you click on text file. Now you click on browse and you can look for that folder in your, um, uh, in your computer basically. So uh, the file that we are looking for is this, according to the question, training. Then you open it and after that you press OK. Then you don't need to do anything here, just click on next. Then the first thing you need to do is to check this option, first row contain field names. Then you need to click on advanced. Now let's look at the question. The question says use these field names and data type. First name is text, text, text. So let's try to check. So first name is short text, short text, short text, then that's okay, no problem. Then the next one is bath date is date or time, DMY. Date or time, date with time, that's okay, but it's DMY, DMY. If it is not DMY, you need to change it to DMY. Day, month, and year. Now, the next one is agenda, training, and training, provider, everything is text. So, short text, short text, short text, that's okay. Then you press okay here, you don't need to change anything there. Then you click on next, click on next. Now here, let's look at the question. The question says set the training number field as the primary key. Then definitely you can choose the training number, so as the primary key. Then you click on next, and you can call this one training, then table. Enough after that, you click on finish. Then this is how to import the file. Now, if you open this file now, you see everything is okay. Okay. Now, the next thing is, the question says save the data. Then place in your evidence file a screenshot showing the primary key, field names, and data type used in the table. Okay. You need to click on home. Then file. You come to design view. Then you need to screenshot in this place. So that the examiner will know that you've done the correct thing here. Then click here and you come to the um, evidence file. Then you put it on the evidence, evidence file. Now, the next question says, Import another file, results, so as a new table in the database, then use the field, use the field names and data type. Now we need to import another one now. So you click on, uh, sorry, you click on external data, then new data source from file, text file, and then you need to choose the file. This is the file we need to import now. Then you click on open, okay, then you click on next. As usual, as I told you earlier, you need to click here, first row contain field names. Then you click on advance. Let's try to check the field names and the data type if it is the same thing with what we have in the question. First and foremost, this one is test date, should be date and type, DMY to display as DDMMYY. They even give you the example for that. Okay, so let's check. It's date and time and it is DMY, that's okay. Then the next one is text. The next one is text, short text. Then after that, start time is date and time, also HHMM. Okay, it's date with time, that's okay. Then the next one is text, number, text. Text, number, text. Long integer is okay, we can use it for the number as well. Then the next one is date time, this one is HHMM as well, hour and minutes. Okay, let's try to check. Duration is also date and time. Duration. Is it duration? Yeah, duration is date and time, that's okay. Then mark achieved is number, 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 text, text. Long integer, long, long integer. Okay, yeah, we leave it as long integer, so no problem with that. And then long integer, long integer, then text, text. Then you press OK. Then you click on next, click on next. Now, the next one says, do not set a primary key. We don't use any primary key for this one. Now, and then you just click on next. You see the question says, let's access add the primary key. No, you need to choose this option, no primary key, okay? And then you click on next. And then you can call this one a results table. This name doesn't matter, basically. You can just call it any name. So then you click on finish. Now, but before you continue for your information, so you see this table. You need to do some few things, some few changes here. Now, if you look at this, this one says test date supposed to be DMY, which is DDMMYY. So before you continue doing anything, click on home, then you come to design view. So you need to change the format of the dates. You need to change it to DMY, this one, short or medium. You can, you can use the medium. Okay, it's going to be in that format. So if you want to see, just click here to go to um, data sheet view and you can see that the date format already changed to the example that they give you. Can you see? It's already changed to the example they give you. That's the first thing. The second thing we need to do here is start time. 
is supposed to be HHMM, which is hour and minutes. But if we check it here, how does it look like? This hour, minutes, and seconds. Hour, okay, this one and this. We need to change it to only hour and minutes, not hour, minutes, and seconds. So how do we do this? Um, what we do here is, let's come back to design view. Okay, this view, start time, then let's make it to be HH, then MM. Okay, then for duration, we make the format to be HH, which means hour and minutes. That's all. I think the equation also says seconds, then you say SS, but the question doesn't say anything about that. Just, just HHMM, that's okay. Now for this two, then you click here again, then you save it, and you will see that the format will be changed. So, you see, hour, minutes, then this one also, hour, then, and a minute. Now, the next question says, now you put the evidence file, the screenshot showing the field names and data type you used in the table. So, definitely the question wants to see how you have done this. Just come back to design view, and then you need to take a screenshot and then you put it in your evidence file that would be evidence file in this case you put it in your evidence file all these evidence files are very important don't underestimate them now or underrate i mean don't underrate them now the next one is um create one to many relationship between training number in the training table and student id in the result table so how do you do this just quite simple what you do here is Okay, let me save this table. You save this one and you save this as well. If you want, you can just close them. It's okay. You, anytime you need them, you can just open them. Then how do, how do we create a relationship? It's simple as clicking on database tool. Then you click on relationship. Then after that, in the first table, you add it. Then the second table, you add it as well. Then you close this. Now, the question says, um, between training number in the training table, this training number in the training table. So you want to create a relationship between training number in the training table and student ID in the result table. Where student ID? This student ID. So you drag this one to this. Is it training number to student ID? Training number to student ID. It's one to many relationship. So it's just as simple as this and you press OK. And of course the question we also ask you for the, try to expand this as everything is fully visible. The question we also ask you to do the screenshots. So just to be sure that you have done what they ask you to do. But let me check the question first. Yeah. Place in your evidence file a screenshot to show the relationship. They always ask this, you know, they follow the same, the same sky always. So you put this one here as the evidence for them. Now, the next question says, <coughs> enter the following details as a new record in the training table. So, but before you continue, try to save this one. Save it and you can close it, okay? Save it and close it. In the training table, open it. Then you come to the last record. Oh, there. Oh, you come to the last record here. Oh, there are a lot of records. Yeah, 499. In the last record, the question says you need to enter the following details as a new record in the training table. So, in my own case, I will just, um, just copy paste. Put the family name there. Then Lina is it. Then I copy this one as well. Let me just write Lina and then I paste this. Then what's the date here? Just copy. I copy the date, then female. This is the date. Then this one is female. And this is software developer. And finally, this one is Tawara Digital Academy. Then you put it here. Good. That's all what they ask you to do. Then check your data entry for errors. Make sure you don't make mistakes. That's two marks. That's just a very cheap mark. Don't miss these two marks. Then save the data. So simple. After you've done this, then right click and you save it. And you can even close the table. Okay. I always like to close the table. It's not compulsory you do that, but I just like everything to be neat like this. Now, the next question says, using fields from the training table only, from the training table only, produce a tabular report. Now, you need to understand few things here. Whenever the question asks you to create a tabular report, whenever the question asks you to create a report, know that you need to create a query first. Then whatever record you get in the query, that's what we now use to create your report. Okay, pay attention to that. Then how do you know? The first question, you see, whenever you see in this order, whenever you see in this order, it means from this question until the last one, you are going to do it in the report. You are going to do it in the report from this question because of this in this order. But any question before it, any question before it, you will do it in the query. You just need to know that. Okay, that's just a very simple technique. So you need to create a query first. How do we create a query? Well, so you come here, create. Don't just create a report straight away. Don't just click on report. No, don't do that. You need to create a query first. You click on query wizard, press OK. Then which table are we? We have two tables. Which tables are we using to create our, um, our query? We're using training table. Then you can bring everything in and you click on next. And perhaps, yeah, it's OK. Just a training table query. Or if you want to change the name, it's OK. Then you click on finish. This is how the query looks like. But we can't do anything here. You need to right click and you come to design view. Okay? Right click and come to design view. This is where we work on the query. Now the question says, select the record where training provider include the text digita. Training provider. Let's try to see. Training provider. Training provider. Where is it? Okay, here. 
training provider include include the word digital look i'll quickly tell you something here if i type digital training you see in the criteria i type training provider digital it will never work if i run it you see it's never worked so what i need to do here come back to design view is anytime you see the word include in the question whenever anywhere you see the word include in the question so definitely what you need to do when you see this word what you need to do is you need to say star then you can write whatever anything and you put you say star include actually means star you need to wrap the text inside star inside the two stars okay don't forget that so in this case i just need to say star then digital then it will work don't just write digital you need to write star because of the word include the question is include so if you run it you will see it work now how many records i have previously it was 499 record they asked us to add one more it becomes 500 records so then how many of these 500 records actually contain the word digital just only 120 131 131 record if you check everything here you will see all of them they contain the word digital okay let's continue um the next one says birth date is 2003 this one is straightforward birth date is 2003 just write 2003 simple i think been the question says include 2003 then you need to say star 2003 then star but the question never say include so just write 2003 and you can run it oh everything is empty what happened let me right click design view birth date 2003 okay you know instead of writing 2003 i think it will write 03 right is that not it will write 03 oh let me check um okay basically uh let me quickly check the table again let's see from here oh the um the date format is not correct by the way okay let's change the date format here the birth date then we change it to to um sorry um dd slash mn slash y y y y Okay, in, the, in that case, if you say if you're on, then it's supposed to be in this format, right? You can see 2003 here instead of 03, it is 2003. If your own doesn't work or you're unable to change it, so just try to close it and you open it back. Just, click, just try to close this, Microsoft Access, and you open it back, and then everything should be okay. Now, let's go back to the query. So, in the query, so we go back to design view, and then in the birth date, so instead of just looking or typing 2003, we cannot find that for sure. So, what we need to type is we want to search the date, we say between um zero one zero one two thousand and three the first day in two thousand and three and the last day which is 31st then 12 2003 which means i believe you know what this one means it's going to look from the first day in 2003 the first day in january and to the last day in december in 2003 so then when you run it then you can see that we have only 32 records right we have only 32 records if you check everything you will see it's between the first day and the last day now, without wasting any time here, so let's click on um, Report Wizard now. We want to create a report. But for your information, don't forget, we are going to use the query. The query that you just created earlier, that's what we are going to use. So what's the first thing supposed to come is um, this one, the fa first name, followed by family name, birth date, training job, and training provider. First name, family name. First name first, then family name follows, and then birth date follows, then training job follows, and the last one is training provider. These are the um, are five things they want to see. Now, you click on Next click on next then here do you need to sort it the question says you need to sort this one so sort the data into ascending order of training provider so you need to choose training provider here then you choose the ascending order then you click on next now then has a page orientation of portrait then you choose portrait here then so has a page orientation done then fits onto a single page then it include this title you can just copy this okay and everything is fully justified so then in that case you just click on next then you can just delete this one and you bring it in and you click on finish okay this is how it looks like now so you will see that everything doesn't look um, the way it's supposed to look that's why you just have to end up dragging and doing all those things initially we should have actually choose this one in the query but no worries so just click here and you click on layout view now um, click on training provider then hold control on your keyboard hold control on your keyboard and you click on the data so you can just drag it it's supposed to be the last one right you can just drag it to the last side here now then first name come here then just drag it somewhere here then followed by family name then this birth date also come then you can expand this one to make everything fully visible then click on training job and you drag it here and finally for the training provider you can drag it here so make sure everything is fully visible and there's not any overlapping of text on top of each other try to expand this Okay, you see this one is not really fully visible. Try to expand this to make everything fully visible. Now, good. Then the question says, has your name, center number, and company number on the report? If you want to do this, you need to right-click, and you come to Design View in the report. 
So you want to put something as your name center and candy number, come to uh, report footer. Then we do, we have report footer and page footer. So just drag this one down and you can write this one in the page footer. So just click on report design or uh, is it format? Um, yes, you see label, click on label and you drag it here and you can write your name. Then you write your center number, then write your candidate number. That's all. So click here again and you come back to your report view. Okay, if you scroll down now, you can see your name, center number, and candy number. And after that, then you can print it. That's all. You are ready to go. Then just click on print preview. Then you see everything is fully visible. Right? Then you can just print. Just as simple as that. Now, the second part of the question is this. This one says using fields from both table. In this case, we are going to use both table. Now, produce a tabular report. Produce a tabular report that contain this. These are the things you need to do well. There are a lot of things. That's 15 marks on its own. Now, the first thing you need to do here is, as I told you earlier, you need to identify which one you need to do in the report, which one you need to do in the query. So always you need to look for this. Whenever you see in this order, whenever you see in this order, then this question until finish. Until end, you do it in the report. Then anything comes before that, you do it in the query. That's just a very simple way of not disturbing yourself. And how do you do this? From this question, everything until finish in the report. Before that, in the query. If you understand that. Now, let's start. The question says, um, we're going to create a query first. So you finish the first one, so you can just save it and let me close this. Let me close this one as well. Let me close this. Let me close this so everything looks neat. Now I click on create, then query wizard. You press OK. Now, what are the things? I'm, I'm going to use the two, uh, two tables. OK, what are the things I need from the two tables? Let me look at them. The first thing I need here to save my time is test day. Test, I, I need test day. Oh, you can just look at this straight away. So I need first name, family name, subject. Okay. First name. Then, uh, sorry, let me bring it in. I need first name. Then I need family name, subject. Subject is not here, perhaps. Oh, I'm even taking this one from the query. That's a very big mistake. Make sure you, you take it from the real table, not from the first query. Okay. Now from training table i need uh let me check again first name family name first name then family name then followed by subject now first name family name subject test date test day start time test date then test day then start time then test date start time then mark achieved then mark achieved where is it okay this one mark achieved I think these are the things that I need. Everything is already there. These are the things that I need. I don't need any other, um, any other field. What about the last one and the results? You know, and percentage underscore mark. Of course, we are going to create that one here. That's a new thing the question asks us to create. And the results. So the last one is the results. And you begin in. If you don't want to pass through all this stress, you can just bring everything in. But you need to know that you need to do drop and drag. Just like what we did for the first report earlier. So but if you don't want to do that, then make sure you select them properly from here. Then you click on next click on next then perhaps you can just call it the same name what's the name um total test completed or if you want you can just say query two it's, it's up to you whatever name you call it but for me i will call it total test completed um then you click on finish yeah so this is the um, this is a new query now let's go to uh, design view now in the design view what was the first question the first question says that we need to create a new field called underscore mark so which is calculated at one time. This field will calculate the mark achieved divided by total mark and be displayed as a percentage with zero decimal places. Now, easiest way of doing this one is we need to create a new field. If you want to create a new field, you come here to the last part. Okay. Then you can click on, um, what is it? Build. We do have one option here. Okay, this one builder. Just click on it. Then you can type. Okay, then column. Now, this field will calculate the mark achieved divided by total mark. Mark achieved, click on it, then divided by total mark. Okay, for some reason, total mark doesn't appear here, but it's okay, you can just write it divided by total, then underscore marks. Okay, and then you can delete this one. You can delete this, and you press OK. Now, let us run it. If you run this, let's see if it works or not. Just expand this one for everything to be fully visible. It's like mark achieved, where is it? 40 divided by 45 so if you have your calculator just try to cross check is it correct or not 
So 40 divided by 45, it should be 0 0.888. What about this? Mark achieved, let's say 17. Then total mark is 35. 17 divided by 35, let's see. 17 divided by 35, 0 0.48, 17 by 0 0.487, yeah. So the formula works fine. But the last part of the equation, we need to complete that. The last part of the equation says that we display as a percentage with zero decimal place. We need to display this as a percentage with zero decimal place. Now let's go back to um, design view and here. Good. So you make this one to a percentage and this one decimal places. So the equation says it needs to be zero decimal places. For some reasons, if you couldn't see this, so you can just close this after you save your work and you close it and you can open it back, then you should be able to see. You see, this is what the question wants you to do. Now, so the next part of the question says select the record where test date is Saturday or Sunday. Test date. So let's go back to design view. Then test date. Here. It's Saturday or Sunday. So try to run it. So uh, what happened? Saturday or Sunday. Oh, is it test date or day? Oh, test day, sorry. The question says test day, not date. Test day is Saturday or Sunday. So if we run it, so you see everything is either Saturday or Sunday. So we have 80 records. Now, the next question says mark achieved is 25 or more. So when the question says 25 or more, then definitely that will be greater than mark achieved, greater than or equal to 25. That's 25 or more. So if you run it, then you can see mark achieved. Where is it? Okay, here. So it's 25 or more. Now, and we are having 40 records. Now the next part of the question says shows only the following fields. So we have done that earlier by the way. But now let's let us create the query now. Uh, let us create the report. You know we've done this in the query as I told you earlier. So now let's do this one in the report. So to do this in the report, the first thing you need to do is right click and save this one. And you can even close it and you can close this one as well. So create then report wizard. Now let's bring them in one by one. Don't forget we are going to use the new query that we just created. So according to the question, first name, fam uh, family name, subject, test date, test day. First name, family name, subject, test date, test date, start time, mark achieved, start, start time, mark achieved, then uh, percentage mark and results, percentage mark, then the last one is result, these are the things, so we don't need this last one, then you click on next, now but from here in this order, with data and label display in full and do not group the data. When the question says don't, you see the data are actually grouped into two here, but, but if you choose this one, you will see that the data are not grouped, okay, so if you click here, the data do not group the data okay so we choose this option basically so we don't group the data then you click on next then click on next do we have any ascending okay sort the data into ascending order of test day test day ascending order of test day and then after that descending order of subjects descending order of subjects and then you click on next now the next one says has a page orientation of landscape page orientation of landscape so then you click on next um, then fit on a single page, then includes only the text weekend testing as a title display in a large font. Okay, let me just, <laughs> I suppose to copy this one earlier instead of copying total test completed. No worries, you can just call it any name. So instead of saying result table, just call it this name and you click on finish. And then the report will be generated. Okay, the result will be generated. But as you can see once again, you will see that this one, it doesn't look um, properly. This is not how the question wants us to do it. So you need to right click and you come to report view. Uh, sorry, right click and you come to layout view. From the layout view, uh, so just try to minimize this first, okay? Now you remember earlier that the question says we need to make first name and last name needs to come first, right? Just try to drag this one somewhere here. Try to reduce the size of this and you drag it here, first name first. Then subject follow, drag it somewhere here. Then family name follows, drag it here. Then family name follows. Then subject, you see everything is also fully visible then follow by test day according to the question according to the question so subject test date then test day so this one test date first then test day then after that time mark achieve underscore and results okay expand this start time bring it here mark achieved make sure everything is fully visible you can see just drag this one a little bit to this side in as much as you have enough space, you can drag this one to this side. Okay, mark achieved. Then this one, underscore mark, and finally the results. Good. So you are ready to go now. Then the next 
part of the equation says, so calculate the number of tests, number of tests. So and display this as an integer below the subject column at the end of the column. Well, to do this quite easily, just come to design view. And as I told you earlier, we have a report view and page view. If you want to write your center number candidate number, then you write it in the page footer. But whenever they ask you to write a, something like a formula, you write it in the uh, report footer. So in this case, we use label, label to write your name, center number, and candidate number. But we use text box to write the formula. So those two things, don't forget. And the question says we need to put it underneath the subject. Is that not what the question says? Calculate the number of tests and display this as an integer below the subject column at the end of the report. So this one, you need to, we need to use the formula count. What do we want to count? We want to count the subject, how many subjects we have. Okay? Then that's all. You just need to use the formula count. Then you want to count how many subjects we have. That's what the question asks you to do. So then after you've done that, um, calculate this, then has a label. You need to put this label there on the left of the value. Instead of having text 22, so you need to put this one there. But you will see that it doesn't look properly. Just try to reduce the size of this. Okay, everything not overlap on each other. Then is, is, is that all? Then display only your name, center number, and candidate number in the footer. So it appears in the same page, on every page, in the same position on every page. Make sure no other text is displayed in the footer. So in that case, you know, I told you earlier, right? We need to use the label, so you can just write your name. Write your name, then candidate number, then center number. So just as simple as that. This one, you can expand it a little bit. Then, but before we continue, so you need to print the, your report out. But before you print it out, you know, they also want you to place your evidence document screenshot showing the database formula used to calculate the number of tests. So they want to, for sure, they always ask. Otherwise, how the examiner is going to know that you have done this? You need to, the, the examiner actually wants to see how you write this count, okay? So that's why they want you to do the screenshot. So try to do the screenshot and you put it in your evidence file. So then after that, after you've done that, then just come here and you click on, um, report view so if you come down then you can easily see it's 40 it's going to count it for you that is 40 but it doesn't look okay so you can just play around with this click on layout view like this one is too long you can just bring it here yeah it looks perfect now okay it looks better and then is that all now you need to print it and you can claim your mark you need to print this one and you can claim your mark just click on print preview so and you can claim your mark so I think this one is going to be on two pages. It's okay. It's going to be on two pages. You print it. So uh, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> this is quite long, but the question also is too tasky. So they're asking for a lot of things in the question. So the next video is going to be on mail merge and presentation. I'm going to make just only one video to do both of them. They are just very simple tasks. Okay, thank you. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, try to subscribe so that you can get notification on every single video I upload. Bye. See you.